Well, that was our tool chain from last week. This week is different. JavaScript. Let me just put this. I have uh, three production outages named after me. Four. My job is to keep our code running while other packages are changing theirs. Should you learn JavaScript? Nope. Is there any other option? Nope. Oh look, another library was added today to patch the problems of the other 150 that were also released. Did you know JavaScript was actually written in seven days? Such a messy language. I love it. Did you know JavaScript was actually not written in seven days? No one ever knows what value variable is or what its type is. Now we use TypeScript. We still don't know. I'd rather use Rust or WebAssembly. They say adoption is coming. They said that 10 years ago. They say that every year, but this year is different. Is it scalable? No. Is it maintainable? No. Is it portable? Not really. Yeah, we used React. We actually used Preact. We actually used Svelte. We actually went back to vanilla JavaScript. Yeah, we're using a library for this. Well, that we rewrote to vanilla JavaScript because it wasn't efficient. We're stuck with this messy language now. I love it. JavaScript. Yeah, it's the de facto standard. Do you know there's a library for that? I wouldn't trust the, let's say, finance application with JavaScript. What our finance application does is, yeah, it's totally fine to use JavaScript, but I'd recommend using TypeScript. Not that we do. We had callback hell, and then we went to promises. A wait came out, we went back to promises, and now we rewrote everything back to callbacks because it's just more comfortable. At least you know it's bad. Oh, it's probably just a quick fix. It will take me three to five days to find it. We tried CoffeeScript, rewrote our code base, tried TypeScript, rewrote our code base, and then we went back to vanilla JavaScript because it's just more comfortable. So we rewrote our code base again. Yeah, we used React, and then React 16.8 came out, and we had to rewrite everything to hooks. React 17 came out, we had to rewrite everything again, and then React Scripts was updated to version 0.4, and we had to fix everything to work with local images. And now React version 18 is coming out. We'll rewrite everything again. We rewrote our code base around nine times this month. Yeah, you can use Redux, it's totally fine. But, but if you're on it, I'd recommend you use Redux Toolkit. But actually it's better to use Flux or Flumux or Fluxible. Actually better to use Recall, not that we do. But now React came out with the Hooks and Context API, which apparently is better than Redux. Apparently, we'll rewrite everything again. Sometimes it just doesn't transpire. We usually rewrite our code base then. We actually wrote a custom transpiler to transpile transpiler. It's such a messy language. We use it for our website, desktop app, mobile app, for the fridge, the Tesla. It's not actually native. I mean, it is actually native, but it's sort of not really native. It's sort of hybrid native, but some of it is native. I mean, some people use it in a native way, but we don't really use it in a native way, technically. A lot of people are switching back to native. No one has switched yet. Angular? Talk to me when you use Angular 2 or React. NPM is such a bad package manager. No one uses that anymore. NPM is such a good package manager. How many languages have one? So that major version breaks our code, but our code breaks the minor version. I still don't know how to fix peer dependencies until this day. Yarn, bit, pnpm, turbo would make sense, right? JavaScript doesn't think so. jQuery, what are you, five? We use jQuery. global variables, no one uses them. It must be somewhere in the window. How do you debug node apps? You don't. You just write good code, but not in JavaScript. No one ever masters JavaScript. I get 100,000 points in Stack Overflow. I'm still a noob. Node is technically multi-threaded. JavaScript is technically performant. Our code is never safe. One day it'll blow up. Probably won't work here anymore. Probably we'll be using Rust or WebAssembly or whatever, JS. An array is technically just an object. Objects are objects. Null is technically not an object, but objects can be null, so they technically can be non-objects unless they're an object, right? So technically null is an object. Yes. It's a bit hacky, I admit, but JavaScript is by design. Is it easy to learn? Have you tried JavaScript? Probably will be a bit hacky. Have you used JavaScript before? I don't recommend. Well, I don't like our tool chain. Documentation? <laughs> and another advantage is that it's free. So was Java before it was bought by Oracle. <laughs> so we prepare ourselves by installing modules from NPM. Then we compile it to TypeScript. Then we use a transpiler called Bubble to transpile it to ES5, load it with System.js, file for bankruptcy, bundle it all up with Webpack, use it in a framework like React and let the state be managed by Redux or Flux, Flumux or Flexible or Recoil or whatever. JS. And voila! 
All of this just to avoid using jQuery, or in our case, jQuery. But that'll be probably less performant as most of the things. This isn't our production code. It will be tomorrow though. Probably gonna get fired again. I mean, there's really no alternative to JavaScript right now. De facto. No one really knows what the value is until we get an error. I love it. Well, try writing anything without JavaScript nowadays. JavaScript. I love it. No, I don't recommend it.